guys, new tailpipe. Look at this sucker. I'm serious, I love this thing. I got this off a guy and Andre X is his ID on the eBay. Check the description. This is a pipe for a hot, uh, for a Predator 212cc motor, the motor that I'm building. First pipe I used was, well, of course, with like everybody, the stock pipe. And then the second pipe was the pipe that Mr. Dobbs sells at his uh, shop. It ran okay, but it fell apart because it was real thin walled. But I love the design, open can type. Then the second pipe I got was this that you guys have seen me install. It's a Robertson's Torx tube, threads on the end, so you can wet, well, thread in a muffler if you like. The problem with this one is you've seen me, I had to, I had to drill and tap the studs, the exhaust studs on a 212cc Predator are wider than the exhaust studs on a normal Honda GX200 or GX200 clone. That's really, that was really annoying and I just didn't like that. And also too, the muffler fell off in the river. So, but the J, without the muffler, it just sounds ugly and nasty. And this guy, I love it. So let's compare. About an inch, about two inches longer. Actually, no, it's about three inches longer because that's about an inch right there. This flange here, this is about an inch longer. The angle is about the same. Actually, this angle seems to be a little shallower than this one seems to be a little more uh, bent. The good thing I like about this pipe, one, it comes with the bolts and the lock washers. That's really nice. I, I love craftsmen who do this. This flange here is, is gap in space exactly for the, uh, for the studs on a 212cc Predator. It's already spaced properly the weld quality and took the time on a bench grinder or something like that and smoothed it out. The porting here is very good as well. The porting here is definitely more of a machined look, whereas you can tell this one was done by hand, but it's still very smooth. This is a, this is a one inch pipe and it's going to a two inch sort of exhaust pipe that you would get like almost like on a car or something. Now this is not a muffler. Okay, that is going to, that is definitely, you know, my music ears, that is like a bell. And that's gonna make this thing loud. <laughs> so if you're looking for a quiet pipe, this ain't it. Go somewhere else. Is it gonna get more power over the stock motor? Yeah, why? Because the flange here, the hole here is a lot bigger. You're gonna get a lot more exhaust gas out and the Venturi here is gonna, it's gonna have more space for more gas to expand out and get out into. So now what does this thing sound like? I don't know, I, the motor's still in 50 pieces. I'm gonna get a second video once I get it on, show you guys what it's like, but I'm just loving this thing. And this thing just is a beautiful piece of work. Now, it, I sent him an email. I was just looking for a different pipe and I just sent this guy an email for carts and mini pipes and mini bikes, they exit out the, in, a, in a way that's out to the side. It'd be just like you see the boat here, the pipe would literally be sitting like this on the motor, which that makes no sense. And so I emailed and said, hey man, could you, I love the design of your pipe. Can you redo it so that it exit out parallel to the boat? And I showed him some videos of what my pipes look like. And he said, oh yeah, I see what you need. And then he just welded this up and in less than a week had this new pipe up. This should mount right up, folks. Bam. Perfect. No drilling, nothing. Perfect for a 212cc Predator. That's what I'm talking about, fellas. That's what I'm talking about.